the H1B guy here. And today, the H1B guy grades. September 2022, Visa Bulletin Predictions versus the actual bulletin released. Find out what I got right, what I got wrong, and my final grade. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you if you haven't already to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. And you can book an appointment directly with me via the h1bguide.com. Today's post is brought to you by Syndesis and Paths of Canada, the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain, by perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys, navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process, and by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related uncertainty? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner Mob Squad has a solution. Join the squad. Well, today I'm going to grade what the H-1B guy forecasted for September 2022 Visa Bulletin versus the actual September 2022 Visa Bulletin that was released by the U.S. Department of State. For those of you that may be new to this channel, each month I predict employment-based preferences as it relates to the monthly Visa Bulletin. Once the monthly Visa Bulletin has been posted by the Department of State, I create a follow-up post in the form of the H-1B Guy Grades to find out how I did with my predictions for the month. So let's jump right into the results for the September 2022 Visa Bulletin that was released on Monday, August 8, 2022. For final action dates in India and in EB1, predicted September 1, 2022, actual September 1, 2022. 31 days forward movement and my prediction was correct. India EB2 predicted February 1, 2015. Actual, December 1st, 2014. No forward movement. My prediction was 62 days over. India EB3 predicted February 22nd, 2012. Actual, February 15th, 2012. No forward movement. And my prediction was over seven days. For final action dates for China in EB1 predicted September 1st, 2022. Actual, September 1st, 2022. 31 days forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For China and EB2, predicted May 1st, 2019. Actual, April 1st, 2019. No forward movement, and my prediction was 30 days over. For China and EB3, predicted May 22nd, 2018. Actual, April 22nd, 2018. No forward movement, and my prediction was 30 days over. For final action dates for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras in EB4, predicted November 8, 2017, actual November 8, 2017. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. For final action dates for Mexico in EB4, predicted April 1, 2020, actual April 1, 2020. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. Moving on to dates of filing for India and EB1 predicted September 1st, 2022. Actual September 1st, 2022. 31 days forward movement and my prediction was correct. For India and EB2 predicted March 1st, 2015. Actual January 1st, 2015. No forward movement and my prediction was over 59 days. For India and EB3 predicted March 15th, 2012. Actual February 22nd, 2012. No forward movement and my prediction was over 22 days. For dates of filing for China in EB1 predicted September 1st, 2022. Actual September 1st, 2022. 31 days forward movement and my prediction was correct. For China in EB2 predicted June 1st, 2019. Actual May 1st, 2019. No forward movement and my prediction was over 31 days. 
for China in EB3 predicted June 1st, 2018, actual May 22nd, 2018. No forward movement, and my prediction was 10 days over. And for dates of filing for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras in EB4, predicted December 8th, 2017, actual December 8th, 2017. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. And finally, my forecast for the Visa Bulletin release day. My three predictions were Wednesday, August 10th, 2022, Thursday, August 11th, 2022, and Friday, August 12th, 2022. The actual release day, Monday, August 8th, 2022. I was correct on 7 out of 16 predictions for my forecast of the September 2022 Visa Bulletin, grading out at 44%. While there was no forward movement for EB2, EB3, and EB4 final action dates or dates of filing, This leads me to believe the outlook for the October Visa Bulletin and beyond just got a lot worse. The release date continues to be much earlier in the month than we have historically seen with another Monday release for September's Bulletin with 23 days still remaining in the month of August. This is a clear indicator to me that they do not expect a significant number of adjustment of status filings between now and the end of September. Per the Visa Bulletin in Section D, Availability for Employment-Based Visas During September, quote, there has been a steady increase in both USCIS and Department of State demand patterns for employment-based visas during the fiscal year. As a result, most employment-based preference category limits and or the overall employment-based preference limit for fiscal year 2022 are expected to be reached during September. If at any time the annual limit were reached, it would be necessary to immediately make the preference category unavailable and no further requests for numbers would be honored. The worldwide employment-based preference limit is 281,507. And under the INA, Section 202A, the per-country limit is fixed at 7% of the family and employment-based annual limits. And for fiscal year 2022, the per-country limit is 35525 The mention of unavailable in the Visa Bulletin tells me a few things. First off, the Department of State advanced the dates way too far in June. Second, even though it will take time and USCIS is going to process a historically high number of employment-based green cards, USCIS will again not be able to fully utilize the worldwide employment-based preference limit that was set for fiscal year 2022 at 281,507. And lastly, we saw the impact for EB3 for China and India being oversubscribed for fiscal year 2022 based on the significant forward movement from the Department of State in fiscal year 2021 that began in May. And you have to wonder if the same will be true for EB2 as we head into fiscal year 2023. I'll be putting together a post with the total grade for all of my forecasts from fiscal year 2022, so be on the lookout for that in the next week or so. For the full post on the H-1B Guy Grades September 2022 Visa Bulletin Predictions versus the actual bulletin released, please check out the H-1BGuy.com. And a reminder that today's post was brought to you by Syndesis and Path to Canada the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H-1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Syndesis and Path to Canada are your answers. They'll gladly help you navigate the process, and if you'd like to find out if you qualify, please be sure to use the link in the video description below, and someone from Syndesis or Path to Canada will be in touch. And also by perm-ads.com the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys 
navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you're looking to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. And by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related uncertainty? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner Mob Squad has a solution. Mob Squad helps technology professionals facing U.S. work visa-related challenges remain working with their current U.S. company nearshore from Canada, as well as technology professionals from around the world who are seeking an opportunity to find a rewarding career in North America. Through their partnership with the Canadian government, they can obtain a Canadian work permit for you and your spouse in as little as six to eight weeks. Whether you're looking to stay working with your current U.S. company or you want to find a new opportunity in Canada, please find out how the team at Mob Squad can help you. Don't leave your fate up to chance. Use the link in the video description below. Join the squad. Just wanted to ask you again to please like this video. Subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.